remove the nut from the pivot shaft. Then remove the shaft and the lever assembly. Remove the plunger and boot. Then remove the clip. It may be necessary to put some downward force on the piston. Slide the piston out. Then remove the spring and the spring pin. Upon assembly, install the spring pin. Slide the spring over the top of the pin. Be sure the seals are lubed with brake fluid. Set the piston into place. Make sure the sharp edge of the circlip is facing upward. Put pressure on the piston and install the clip into place. Be sure it fully seats into the groove. Be sure there is lube on the ball at the end of the plunger. Install the plunger and boot on top of the piston and seat the boot into place. Lastly, install the lever assembly. Be sure the collar is lined up and then install over the plunger. Insert the pivot shaft. Thread into place. Install the lock nut, hand tighten, and torque to spec.